cloud chasers. Morning. Today I'm going to rebuild uh, another crazy ass tank. This is my day to day tank, but it's uh, it's kind of burnt out, so I'm going to rebuild it today. Uh, I'm going on a four post, three post negative, center post positive. Um, this is the onslaught, and it's got some nice big holes for, for everything to go into. Um, I'm going to do a 24 gauge 4 wrap parallel for all three posts. Uh, the one we can do in sleeper and then have to do the other one just put in. So um, we're going to put this together and it is uh, it's a fog machine for sure. Alright, let's do it. Okay, so I've got one, got my cans all straightened out. I've got one set that's probably about 12 inches long for the sleeper side and I've got uh, another double set put together for the, uh, for the single side. So let's get to building. What I found, a little trick I do, is when you're doing these wraps, and that very first one doesn't seem to match up with the rest of them until you uh, tweak it out, then what I like to do is, before I'm done my wraps, if you come back and just, if you do a couple wraps to start with, and then you come back to that first one, and just turn it into a wrap and just continue and make that first one into a wrap then it gets rid of that that little unevenness in it so those are four While I'm here, I might as well continue and do get the other one ready. Okay, so let's go ahead and put the sleeper in first just to get the hard one out of the way. I absolutely love the sleeper. Any chance that I can do the sleeper part, I absolutely will. It just, I don't know, it makes, gives it such a better conductivity. Just such a better, nicer build for me anyhow. So we're going to go ahead and get that put in there. Now, just because of the way that this is going to work out, I'm going to bring this lead over, over here to this side and wrap it here. And on this last loop, a lot of times I've cut in these leads too short. You think they're long enough that I cut them probably six, eight inches, six inches anyhow. And then to get it into that last post, it's a nightmare. 
you know I always leave them nice and long just to help out getting it uh, getting it threaded through into there So we are just finishing the second sleeper coil. And for our third and final coil to be installed. You know, even when you get good at building coils, um, you need to get good at building coils, working around a camera. And from the looks of it, that is a skill that I need to perfect. This guy here, I bought, I bought uh, one of these little screwdrivers, and then I just nipped the end off of it. Let's clean that up a bit. Let's flash this bad boy. Now, everybody keeps saying, I hear it so often, who needs that much power? Who needs that much power? You don't need more than 70 watts. Well, actually you do because if people keep making the devices that are going to pump out that kind of power, guys like me are going to keep building coils to rock the power. What are we at in the way of resistance? Yeah, baby. 0 0.03. That is what I like to see. I like my other, my other uh, parallel double coils that I just carry around vaping every day. If I'm going to rebuild one of those, I do a 24 gauge parallel coil. Uh, one on each side of the tank, and I like that to be sitting right around 0 0.02, 0 0.03. So this guy is going to be fantastic. Drain off that last juice. Beautiful. All right, we'll let that cool down and rip this sick coil. 0.03. All right, so I didn't think you needed to sit there and watch me uh, struggle with cotton. So wicking this guy, anytime that I have uh, the opportunity on a tank, I like to um, put a little mushroom cap on it. So let me show you what I mean by that. So these two coils, I have those um, wicks half halfway through and I'm going to take and tuck them around like normal. Um, 
this third coil that I've just come through a little bit. I'm going to take and I am going to put some cotton on the bottom of there, but then I like to take this this top piece and bring it around the top and let it sit on top um, just to create a nice little mushroom on top because what happens then is when I juice it then that juice I can just pile it on there and it just runs down into the rest of the cotton I don't know I, I like it it's a little bit more reservoir especially when you're burning this kind of uh, burning up this kind of juice this kind of uh, build so let's I personally always like to cut the end of twister down first um, I don't know if you're supposed to but that's just a personal thing of mine Yeah, let's go with the Pandora. Alright, so we have our 24 gauge, 3 negative post, center positive post, 0 0.03 build, 24 gauge, 4 wraps. That's, uh, that's the monster. So let's try it out. By the way, this onslaught tank, love it. What a fantastic tank. Cheers. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. In fact, I'm going to take it off of that 26, throw it onto my walk around mod, and I'm going to walk around with it. Would I take it into a competition? No. Walk around every day with it? Absolutely. That's a nice hitting, nice flavor, all around great vape. 